Hello, my name is Marshall Taylor. On November 21st, 2016, I was a passenger in a head-on collision just outside of Deming, New Mexico. The person that I was with was named Kim Jensen. She told multiple people, including two people from the Luna County Sheriff's Department, that she was driving. There is lots of evidence, physical evidence, which supports that I was the passenger at the time of the accident. Kim Jensen told multiple people that she was the driver. For some reason, the state proceeded with charges against me. I went to trial in January of 2019. My attorney made an error where he put the wrong photos in to evidence. He used a photo with me in a different vehicle than the one that I was in in the car wreck. The court had ordered us to take photos of me in the passenger seat of the vehicle that was in the car wreck, but again, my attorney did not use those photos. This unfairly prejudiced me in trial and affected the jury. They came back guilty on all counts. I tried to get a new trial. The court did not allow it. In August of 2019, I surrendered myself to prison. After two and a half years of incarceration, the Court of Appeals released me and I was told to continue my life. I am waiting on the Court of Appeals to finalize my appeal. In May of 2023, roughly about 18 months after I was released from prison, I got a really strange text. I had not heard anything from my second attorney, had not been notified of anything, that I had a court appearance. I called my attorney, he did not respond. I showed up to court, he did not show up there and I was notified that I only won part of my appeal and I still had the three felonies pending. July 31st, I was given a new judge. I went back to court and I was told that my character did not matter, that none of the good things that I've done since I've been in prison and released from prison were relevant, that I deserved to be in prison, and I was told to surrender myself on September 15th of 2023. This would be the third time that I've surrendered myself on these charges. This is a grave injustice. There is a lot of physical evidence which supports that I was not driving at the time of this offense. Kim Jensen has admitted multiple times and multiple people have testified to this effect that she said that she was the driver at the time of the accident. I am asking for the help of the community to please stop the sadistic court from once again putting an innocent person in prison they have refused to acknowledge the physical evidence, my character, and Kim Jensen's admission of being the driver at the time of the accident. I am calling on the Attorney General, the Department of Justice, and the Governor of New Mexico to please intervene on my behalf. Thank you.